Hey there, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and it has been quite a year here for the fountain pen world in 2016. We've launched a lot of great stuff, seen a lot of new products come onto the market, and we, as the Goulet team, wanted to put together our list of the top 10 for the year, and we basically took sales as well as what we thought was most significant to us in the impact of the market. So without further ado, here is the top 10 pens of 2016. Number 10 on our list is the Namiki Makie Collection. These are high-end Yurushi lacquer pens with a superb level of craftsmanship where artists train for 20 years and take four to six months to make a single pen. These are holy grail type pens and for us as a company this was really a significant event for us to be able to even carry this brand. So that's part of why it makes our top 10 list. Number nine on the list is the Monograppa Fortuna in the Copper Mule. Now we haven't done a lot with Monograppa before, but this pen really hit on some hot trends that were happening in 2016. The whole copper and kind of that raw element with the patina pen, and then the uh, kind of revival of the Moscow Mule as a drink. We really like this pen because Monograppa tied a lot of these elements together and really designed a nice looking pen. Number eight is the Visconti Rembrandt in Special Ops. Now the Rembrandt is Visconti's most affordable pen, which is always popular, and the colors they came out with this were awesome. We always do well with stealthy pens, so this nice olive green with a swirl in it and the blacked out trim was really good. Visconti nailed it with this one. Number seven is the Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo. So this is a slimmer version of the incredibly popular Pilot Vanishing Point. It was actually available for several years outside the US, but it's new to the US market this year. Came out the gate strong, and it's got some unique colors, uses the same nibs as the Vanishing Point, and it's a great option, especially if you have smaller hands. Number six is the Delta Unica in matte black. Now we were able to get this one as a Goulet exclusive and it came out very strong out the gate. The first batch that we did were numbered and is a very affordable pen, especially for Delta. It kind of hit onto that trend of being all stealthed out, blacked out, and it was very popular and it's been a strong pen for 2016. Number five is Keras Customs. They got a couple of different pen models here and we launched it early in the year. This is a pen company that started up several years ago, but they just started expanding to retailers. So you previously could only buy it direct and we launched it this year. A lot of different color options, some cool customizations that could be done, American made and incredibly durable metal pens. Another exclusive for this year is number four, our Conklin Nighthawk. This pen was kind of a revival of the Monteverde Nighthawk that we did over three years ago. So it was really satisfying for us to be able to bring this pen back. It's a matte carbon fiber, all blacked out, and we were able to put a black Goulet nib on it. So we're really happy about this one. Number three is the Pilot Kakuno. Just like the Decimo, this pen was available outside the US for several years and just came to the US market. It's an affordable pen, really hits nicely, just like the Pilot Metropolitan, except it's a little more fun and it's got, a, it's kind of a kid themed pen, but it's great for adults too. And that smiley face on the nib really just is the signature for this pen. Number two, I almost hate to mention because it's not available anymore, but it's the Edison Nouveau Premier in the Water Lily, affectionately known by some as Unicorn Barf, but it's an incredibly popular pen. Um, we sold a bunch of them during the three months that we had it available as a seasonal premiere, and we're sad to not have it anymore, but it definitely deserves a top spot because it is renowned in the pen community. And the number one pen of 2016 should probably not be a surprise if you are into the fountain pen world at all, but it's the Lamy Safari in Dark Lilac. For years, we have had people asking about getting a purple Safari, and Lamy definitely delivered strong with this pen. Not only was it purple, but it was a matte purple with blacked out trim. Man, Lamy, you really nailed it with this pen. It has been incredibly popular for this year, and we are honored to give it the number one spot. So this is a very strong list for 2016. Some of the pens are not available anymore and that's okay, but we still thought it deserved an honorable spot here. There's gonna be a lot of great pens that are gonna come out in 2017. We're excited about that. You can check all these ones out and lots of great other ones on gouletpens.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and let us know any pens that you think uh, deserve a mention as well. Be sure to let us know in the comments on YouTube or on our blog. Thanks so much for watching and right on.